Hey y'all, how y'all doing? It's your girl Melanated Essential and I'm back with another read for the collective. How y'all doing? All right, y'all, let's just tap right on in, shall we? Right off the bat, y'all, what I'm getting here is the, it says no weapon that is formed against you shall be able to prosper. That's what God said, okay? So it doesn't matter what's being done behind the scenes, in the background, what people think they, they, that they're getting away with. It doesn't even matter. It's not going to prosper. It may form. The weapon may be formed, but it's not going to prevail at all. So you need to know that. You need to... Um, so if anybody's in the background with chaos magic, trying to conflict and chaos spells, trying to get you to get out of character or fold when it comes to staying calm, staying um, cool, calm, and collected, it's not going to prosper because you're always going to remember the big picture. You're always going to look at the big picture. You're always going to know that you are protected in that, you know, you are trying not to stay in that energy or be in that energy, period. Um, it definitely is spell work, but just know that it's not going to prosper because you're always going to think ahead. You're going to be alerted within your intuition to know, uh -uh, don't do that. Don't even trip. I got you. You know what I'm saying? People want you to get out of character. People don't want you to be happy daily. You know, the people work on this daily. So the most high God wants you to know that no weapon that is formed against you shall be able to prosper indoor collective. You know what I'm saying? Just stay positive, stay calm, stay focused and know that every, all your needs are being met because you are the star. You are a star. The most high has illuminated you and put you, you know, on high so people can see and be influenced and, and learn and grow and heal. That is why you're a star so that you can, you, you have been illuminated to a lot of people. And um, people don't like that. They, they, your spirit, your energy irritates their demons, right? So they're going to try all they can to get you to give up your position, to get out of character type of situation. Um, bless those who curse you. Pray for those who despitefully use you. So we're in the energy of praying for our enemies, okay? When we find things out or we are alerted within our soul about things that have been done to us, just pray for the people, okay? Don't let anything get you out of whack, out of your high vibration because you are a star and people are watching you to be freed and healed from captivities and mindsets that they have developed over time. Um, speak over your own life. If there are individuals that feel like they can play God in your life. You speak over your own life. You say that you say that no weapon formed against me shall be able to prosper. Hold on, y'all. One second. So yes, you speak over your own life. You have power. There is life and death is in the power of the tongue. So it doesn't matter what's being spoken over your life. You you tell yourself that you are more than a conqueror. That greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. That um that no weapon as well formed against you shall be able to prosper. So yeah, know that. Since you are being watched and people are looking to you for, for healing and all that, they need to know that when, when challenges come, you don't get out of character. You actually speak over your own life. Um, and that's how you prevail. When you pray for your enemies, you speak over your own life, that's enduring. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not allowing yourself to be susceptible to a low vibration. That's how you pre That's how you will prevail, by staying high vibrational. Um, positivity inspires. So when you stay positive, the people who are looking at you as this star, they see that no matter what you go through, as long as you stay positive, as long as you stay hopeful, as long as you speak the word over your life and come into agreement with things that God said and not what humans say. It don't even matter what humans say about you, collective. It matters what the most high says. So stay in a high vibration. Continue to speak over your life. Bless those who curse you and pray for those who must spitefully use you. Um, and that's how you endure. That's how you find yourself living, okay, in a high vibration. You got to love yourself first. You know what I'm saying? Speak over your own life. Do things for yourself that make you feel good, that make you happy. Even before you want to bless everybody else, you make sure you take care of yourself mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. You don't want to be around no toxic energy or you don't want to operate or function in no toxic energy of being negative or um, just being chaotic. You know what I mean? Even though this is being done to you with intention in the background, you want to overcome that because you are more than a conqueror, Okay. We can overcome anything through the most high God. Um, you got to love yourself first. When you love yourself first, it keeps you in a joyful energy. You will be 
full of joy. You know what I mean? Because you're speaking over your life. You're staying in a high vibration. You are blessing those that curse you and praying for those who despitefully use you. You're speaking over your life. You're enduring until the end because you know that no weapon that is formed against you shall be able to prosper. And that's how you establish financial stability. When you work for the Most High God, all he needs you to do is stay cool, calm, and collected, okay? Because all of your needs are being met. He knows what you need collected. He knows what you don't have. He knows what you do have. He knows who you don't have. He knows who you do have. And then he knows the plans that he has for you, okay? Pr plans to prosper you and not to harm you, to give you a future and an expected end. I'm feeling like somebody needs to get into the Bible because the Bible speaks so many different truths that can uh, inspire you, that will provoke you, that will enlighten you, okay? You need to speak over your own life using the word of Yah. Because doors are opening for you, okay? The wait wasn't punishment, it was preparation. So somebody needs to know if you've been waiting for something, it wasn't punishment, it was God preparing you. He was getting your soul, your mind, your spirit right, getting your words in alignment, how you speak, how you think, you know what I mean? Some of us are powerful manifestors, and you can manifest chaos if your thoughts aren't aligned with the spirit and truth, okay? The Bible says, set your affections on things above and not beneath. So remember to think high, think, you know, um, Look at things from a high perspective. Choose to see the big picture and everything. It's not about little old you. It's about you being a star, being illuminated for those who are also in captivity, those who also are in a chaotic environment or have chaos within their soul. They need to know that positivity inspires. And staying positive and staying hopeful is what keeps you in a high vibration. Loving yourself is what keeps you in a high vibration and away from toxic energy. Being joyful by loving yourself is what creates financial stability and creates doors to open for you, collective. So, yes. Somebody needs to know that whatever's going on in the background, no, it's not going to prosper because you're going to know, you're going to speak over your own life every day. I am more than a conqueror. No matter what's being done to me, I will rise above. I will choose to forgive. I will choose to pray. I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to, uh, submit myself to any wiles of temptation of darkness to retaliate or to fight back or anything like that because it lowers my vibration. If I know that God had the battle of, is the Lord's, what am I fighting for? He already told me that I just need to stay, stay being a star. Okay. I need to, and that's how I prevail. Seriously, y'all. So yes, this has been your reading collective. If you would like a personal reading, tap in with me. Otherwise you have a wonderful day. Hallelujah. Ashe, ashe.